What is good? Beautiful people hopping on here for another daily reminder episode. I think this is number 11 now. So really enjoying doing these. Um, thank you so much for all the love and support and listening to what I have to say. I find a lot of value um, myself personally for making these these videos and these these episodes that I then, you know, content repurpose into a lot of different forms um, that people can consume. So yeah, I want to hop on here for another take, you know, two cents on a topic that, you know, has been running through my mind a lot recently, and that is specifically on being authentic in telling your truth. So here we go. So flip it on the light because, you know, that looks better. <laughs> but um, yeah, so to continue, so authenticity wins. It always wins. Being you is important. It's critical. It's the only thing that you should do. It is your most valuable asset aside from time. So when you decide you want to begin creating content online, you know, putting yourself online on social and all these platforms or whatnot, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, physically, you put yourself into a lot of vulnerable spaces in all of these areas. And oftentimes you may think you have to be someone you are not to get people to actually like you. When in reality, it's actually the exact opposite. First and foremost, do not get lost in the metrics when creating content. Engagement, how many likes, how many comments, how many story views. And oftentimes this can kind of fuck with your mind and make you think, oh, well, this piece of content performed well, you know, quote unquote well, what does it actually mean? Um, you know, people like to see this kind of content. You know, people like to see shirtless pics. People like to see, I don't know, what, whatever draws eyeballs, you know? So because these this kind of content performs well, then I'm gonna change who I am as a person to then cater to what performs well, to what people wanna see when that just doesn't make any sense. And when you really think about it, people respect and appreciate authenticity. At the end of the day, you know, when you whip out your phone, you see something that is, is meaningful to you and, and you talk about it you know, with the people that matter to you, when you talk to yourself about it, you know, you're in your head. Um, you know, that's the purest form of content that people relate to, regardless of how quote unquote well a post does in terms of engagement metrics. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a, a quantitative factor that is associated with any kind of piece of content. You can only front or fake being a certain type of person that deep down you actually truly, you know, aren't at the end of the day. Maybe you don't know who you are as a person, so you, you just kind of follow the lead on what other people are doing on social media. That doesn't mean you should change who you are or Maybe that's how people discover themselves, so it's okay, I don't know. But um, but you can only front or fake being a certain type of person for so long. You can't do that forever to infinity um, until you die, you know? Um, so people burn out when they kind of are trying to be people they aren't. So it's easy to be authentic. It's easy to just be you. And that's really all that people wanna see. And sometimes people are scared because they don't wanna face who they truly are as a person. Um, yeah, that's kind of my two cents. And keep in mind, this is coming from, this is my personal opinion. <laughs> so, obviously take everything with a grain of salt. Um, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. So, who knows if that makes any sense. I don't know where that came from, but, so, back onto it. So, you know, there are three things that I have personally found that have helped me become an effective, um, I guess, communicator. And those are that you have to educate, entertain, or have some kind of impact um, through using any kind of social. And if you do those three things, one of them is going to be valuable to the equity of your brand, at least one of them, hopefully all three. However, if, if you do things outside of that that are self-serving for your ego purposes, those are going to dilute your brand. And hopefully at the end of the day that you can have an impact through educating, through entertaining people. You know, I think that at the end of the day, that's what 
social media is intended for. That's what it was created for. That's how I find value from it. That's how I find value from other creators. And I just apply it to my own life. And also video authenticity is nearly impossible to duplicate. So, you know, that's why, that's why much more of my content specifically has transitioned into a lot more into video form instead of static post photos or pictures of that nature. You know, it's very hard to Photoshop a video. It's hard to Photoshop your life in a video. And I feel as though the video format brings out the most, you know, most authentic version of myself and allows me to speak my truth in the most uninterrupted, fully transparent way that you know, I possibly can, can use these platforms um, to the best of my abilities. So just to wrap this little episode up, I want to conclude with this. You have to figure out what you love to do and do it very well. No one can beat you at being you and the uniqueness that you bring to your passions and to your dreams and to your goals. And contemplate how do you become the most valuable person in your sphere, in your niche, so that other people look to you for a problem that they have that they need to be solved, that they need solved. You have to develop extremely valuable skills, you know, cater towards a subset of specific people, and then monetize those skills long term, you know, big picture long term. So, you can, so that you can make a career out of something that you truly do love. And finally, create value for the future, now, in the present. That value cannot be taken away. It cannot be duplicated because it is extremely transparent, genuine, wholesome, coming from an authentic place. And it can only come from you because, there's only, because there is and will always be only one of you in this world, forever and always. So, that's all I got for this episode. Hopefully you found some value from it. Thank you so much for taking the time to either watch or listen to what I have to say. It means everything to me. And yeah, I love you guys always so much. And I will see you in the next one. Kill your day, kill the rest of your week. And I'll see you soon. Peace.